In this video, we've got a couple problems that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to complete the square, and these problems can be a little bit more challenging because the number in front of the term being squared here is not 1, and that causes a problem. or just Well, it just makes things a little bit more complicated. So um, let's start off by solving it or completing this problem by doing our steps over here. So we want to isolate our y squared plus 48y. To do that, I'm going to subtract out this 182 first. Do that from both sides. I'm left with x minus 182, and that equals 3y squared plus 48y. Okay, um, so that's going to be the first step. Um, now we still have to deal with this 3 in front of the y squared. Now instead of dividing that out from both sides, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to factor it out of these two terms right here. So let's rewrite this left side, x minus 182. And then factoring out this 3, we're left with a y squared plus 16y. Okay, So now we have this part kind of isolated. At least it's by itself in the parentheses. Uh, we're going to want to find half of b. So b is 16 right here. So if I do this on the right side, I have b divided by 2, and that's going to be 16 divided by 2, which is just 8. Okay, And then our third step is to square it. So we're going to take 8, and we're going to square it. And that gives us 64. Okay, Now we need to add that to both sides. So let's go back to our problem over here and we're going to want to add that in. So let's rewrite what I have over here. x minus 182 equals 3 times y squared plus 16y. And I'm going to add in, whoops, I want to do that in blue. Let's add in 64. And then I'll close the parentheses. Now, uh, it looks like I'm just adding in 64 to this right side of the equation, right? But actually, if you look at it closely, there's a 3 being multiplied, uh, or there's a 3 multiplying all these terms here. So I didn't just add in a 64, I actually added in 192. So you could even check that. Um, say if I, whoops, say if I distribute out this 3, uh, 3y squared, and then 3 times this, that's going to be um, 48y and then 3 times 64 that's going to be that number we just found which was uh, 192 okay Oops. uh oh having problems here okay add in 192 so that's not just adding 64 to both sides that's adding in 192 so I'm going to erase all that there we go um, now that we know we're actually adding in 192 because we're taking that 3 multiplying it by 64 let's add in over there okay now we've got x equals 192 and then a negative 182 is going to be a whoops I wrote that wrong why did I do that um, x plus 10 and then on this right side we're going to uh, write 3 again and then we're going to write this in factored form so we're going to do um, our y and then what are we um, actually adding in there uh, b over 2 that was down here that's 16 over 2 which is 8 so I add in 8 we're squaring that and and that's the hard part um, let's just get rid of this negative or I'm sorry let's get rid of the 10 and that will be our final answer for this problem it's going to be x equals 3 times the quantity of y plus 8, which is squared, minus 10. And that's that problem. Now, here we go. Here's another problem. It's very similar to the, the last one that we just did, except the, the number in front is negative. So uh, let's start by isolating uh, this part right here. So we're going to add in 213 to both sides. And I'll work a little bit quicker through this one since I just took you through the steps of a problem just like this. 
this is just basically a little bit more practice. Um, we've got 6x squared, and that's negative, plus 72x. Um, now, again, like we did before, we need to get this x squared plus 72x by itself. So let's actually factor out this negative 6. So I'm going to rewrite y plus 213 equaling negative 6. Again, we're factoring this out, so we're left with x squared plus, oops, actually this is going to be, we're going to do a minus because we're, we're dividing out or factoring out a negative number. So um, 72 divided by negative 6 is going to give us a uh, negative 12x. And then uh, I could maybe leave this open because I know that we're going to add in uh, a number from these steps over here. So uh, now we need to divide our b term, which is negative 12, by 2. So b divided by 2 is uh, negative 12 divided by 2, which is a negative 6. And then we're going to take negative 6 and do this in blue. We're going to square it. So that's going to be positive 36. So that's what I need to add in here. Now, like in our last problem, we're not actually just adding in 36. We're actually take um, negative 6, multiply it by 36. We're actually subtracting 216 from this whole right side of the equation because we have this multiplier in front. That's the part that we factored out. So I'm going to actually subtract 216 from the left side. And now our, equations are, or our equation is balanced. Uh, so we've got a y um, minus 3 equals negative 6. And here's where I want to factor this part. So uh, it's going to be x. And then we're going to um, add in our b over 2. Our b over 2 uh, was calculated down here. It's going to be negative 6. So we're going to actually subtract 6. And then we're going to square that quantity. Um, there again, that's the hard part. So uh, let's get rid, rid of this negative 3. We're going to add it to both sides. And then our answer will be y equals negative 6. And then the times the quantity of x minus 6. And that's being squared with the addition of 3 at the end. And that's the final answer.